I think a large part of Megan's joy in the sport comes from um, where she's from. And a big part of that is her mom. Deanna, she was a great personality. You could see and feel the passion that she had about volleyball. My mom rarely ever missed a volleyball match of mine or my sister's. If she were to miss a game, it, it was like the end of the world for her. My mom was the assistant for my high school, Alexandria Monroe High School, for 20 years. And just this past year, she had been named head coach for the first season. Megan and I grew up in the same town and we played for the same club and Deanna was always at every single tournament, every single practice. She was a team mom, team rep, everything. Her mom, having been her coach, having been this volleyball, um, kind of like icon in their area a little bit, that passion piece that you see when Megan is in that moment, that was definitely a part of Deanna out there. I enrolled at Nebraska in the summer of 2018. Like all moms do when they drop their daughters off, they get very emotional and there was a strong bond there between those two. I made the starting lineup my first freshman game and I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy, like I can do this. Megan Miller with an outstanding up. For my two seasons in Lincoln, I played in pretty much every set, but I lost the love for the game. I wasn't enjoying it, and it felt more like a job. Volleyball used to always be my safe space. I would have like problems off the court, but then I would go to volleyball and everything would go away. I wanted to quit volleyball in general, I had spent two years of my life there. I'd made a lot of relationships. That was the hardest part for me, was having to leave those girls. My mom, she kind of had a harder time with me not wanting to play volleyball. She knew deep down inside that I didn't want to quit. She tried to get me to go through the recruiting process, and she said, if you still don't want to play after, like, I'll understand, but I can't live with you not trying to go somewhere else to regain the love. Without her, I probably wouldn't have went through the recruiting process. I wouldn't have found a new school, and I would have just been a regular student. We're just at a different growing level, and I think Megan saw Northwestern as an opportunity to come in and be a catalyst for us. Deanna loved watching Megan play. And she said, at the end of the day, I just want Megan to be really happy. And I feel like she really trusted us to do that. In summer, mid-June, I was returning from a recruiting trip and a voicemail popped up from an unknown number. And it was her sister, Abby and Abby had uh, left me a message that something had happened. In June of this year, I woke up to my dad in my room on the phone. My dad, oh, sorry. <laughs> My dad just kind of said, like, Meg, I need you to wake up. Something's wrong with your mom. I am on the phone with the ambulance. My mom was not coherent. The surgeon came in and kind of told us what was going on. It's called a blood stroke so it's 
worse than a stroke. We just kind of sat there and waited and it was really hard to like process. I just shot her a text and I said no response needed at all. Just know that I am here, we are here. Whatever you need, um, we've got you. It was just heartbreaking to hear that. When I saw one of our players, I just said, hey, have you checked in with Megan? And they go, yeah, we, we know. Since she was in a coma and it was not medically induced, um, they just had to wait for her to wake up. And she never woke up. Northwestern brought a bus for my mom's funeral. Our whole team got off the bus. I'll never forget her face when she saw the whole team. Our whole program was there. That was a moment that will mean more to Megan than any ace ever will. I did not think I was mentally going to be able to make it through another season, but we have to get back to make our lives somewhat normal. We have to find a new normal. For me, that was using volleyball as my safe space. My mom, she had a lot to do with me coming back because I knew that she would be so mad at me if I did it. For the first match of the year, I wrote my mom's initials on my shoes so that every time I play volleyball, she's there with me. In late September, we hosted Nebraska. Megan's like, Kristen, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I, I get to see all the girls. She just couldn't stop smiling. We grew up together. When I was 15, my dad passed away from pancreatic cancer. And I would say that volleyball was a huge piece that brought me out of that. Megan was a huge piece that brought me out of that. And it was like, OK, now I need to be that for her. It sucks being so far away from them because all you want to do is be there for them and give them a hug, but you can't. The next best thing is just like making sure that she hears you, feels you, feels your presence. Our players were trying to decide, you know, how they wanted to reach out to Megan and eventually it, it came down to getting flowers and then figuring out when they wanted to present that to her. And Nebraska wins the match three to one. Normally you go back into the locker room and afterwards you come out and you're like, okay, like let's find the people that we know. As soon as the game ended, we kind of all were like, you know, screw it. Like we care more about Megan in this moment. My equipment manager said, Meg, 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 the girls, like turn around, the girls want to see you really quick. And I saw flowers and smiles, and instantly I got tears in my eyes. <laughs> and it is a bond, both on and off the court, between Megan Miller and her former teammates. The Nebraska players had just embraced her, right? Just kind of like ate her up. You couldn't even, I couldn't even find her in there. It was a feeling of relief that we finally get to actually give her a hug in person and talk to her in person. Like, no matter what side of the net you're on, if you were a part of our team and our family, we're always going to care for you. Still friends and very affectionate after the match. This is really cool. I'm extremely thankful for both Northwestern and Nebraska. And even more thankful for both of these teams supporting me through the hardest moment of my life. This volleyball family has just really wrapped their arms around Megan and, and her family. 
the line that brings those all together is, is Deanna and it's volleyball. I don't want to say we were all blown away, but it was just, you know, it's more than a game. It's more than a game.